The respiratory tests performed with spirometers can help diagnose disease in patients, which is important since, for example, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. So how might these be used? Well, let's say you ask your patient to perform the expiratory reserve volume test where they forcefully exhale or do a vital capacity um, uh, where you can get a measure of you know, the, the same thing. Um, if the level is smaller than usual, uh, this is often a sign that emphysema has begun. If a patient has uh, been smoking and they don't know whether permanent lung damage has begun to occur where alveoli, the air sacs, have been destroyed, a decreased ERV could be a sign of emphysema. One of the things that could be done is that you could time the exhalation of this air. So let's say that you do uh, a vital capacity called a forced vital capacity test, which is timed. A normal person has uh, an amount of air which would be exhaled uh, based on you know, their, the size of their body, the size of their thorax, gender is uh, uh, involved. And so you, know, you have an idea of what the expected value is for a normal individual in terms of volume, but also 80% of the exhaled air will be exhaled in the first second for a normal patient. In some patients, the volume uh, for the FVC would be less, and this would be referred to as a restrictive pulmonary disorder. Something is restricting the ability of the thorax to expand. This could be obesity or scoliosis or an autoimmune disease, sarcoidosis, or scar tissue from tuberculosis or muscular dystrophy. Um, more commonly, however, uh, it is an obstructive pulmonary disorder, such as chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disorder, or COPD. This is where the air which has been inhaled now has trouble leaving. There is a blockage or the narrowing of respiratory passageways interferes with the exit of this air. Um, and so uh, there are causes such as the chronic inflammation as a result of asthma or irritating uh, gases, um, the mucus uh, buildup from cystic uh, fibrosis, um, the loss of uh, air uh, passageways uh, through emphysema. Um, these uh, are signs of chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder. And you would notice it in that the overall volume of air uh, expelled in the, uh, the vital capacity test uh, would be similar, um, but not as much air would leave in the first second. So as opposed to a healthy individual where say 80% of the air might leave in the first second, now a similar amount of air might be exhaled, but it would take longer to do it with a greater percentage of the air leaving in subsequent seconds. This would help distinguish between say restrictive pulmonary disorders and obstructive pulmonary disorders.